So yeah. today we got Bretman Rock. We're going to do a quick speed round of 21 questions with Bretman Rock. Period. All right. Hit question, me. question number one. A song you listen to in the car. I've been obsessed with Ravina lately. Her mm. um, new album, Asha's Awakening, is really good. And I really like Mystery. That song, Mystery, it That's reminds me of like a coming of age Southeast Asian movie introduction. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a oh, good that's description. Oh, that's a very specific description. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I, my mind works like that. When I listen to music, I'm in a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what movie am I in? <laughs> Favorite fast food joint? Um. Oh my gosh. I would say Jollibee, honestly. Mm? Oh, yep. What yeah. do you order from there? I love their spicy chicken sandwich deluxe. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> we eat Jollibee here in the office a lot. Um, favorite travel destination? My favorite travel destination, even though I'm not allowed to travel that much because I'm not a U.S. citizen. I would say, um, oh my God, I don't go out like that. <laughs> I would say I've been loving like outer island stuff lately. Okay. Because like, yeah. cause it's like home, but not really, mm -hmm. you know. A different like It's scenery. not really like a risk. Like I don't have to worry about like, mm -hmm, will, pay, will people be racist to my Asian ass? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's still Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Come visit me on the Big Island. Yeah. <gasps> we were just there. We were in Hilo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Where are we at? Uh, travel destination on your bucket list. Bora Bora, because Ooh. I was supposed to go and then I couldn't because I'm not a U.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Girl, that. I had like, I signed papers and everything. And then when they, when the brand sent me the, um, my boarding pass, they were like, um, yeah, you're going to need these things. And I'm like, oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee or tea? Coffee. Kombucha or coconut water? Coconut water, girl. Kombucha fucking tastes like throw up, bitch. <laughs> like, oh my god. I thought you were into it. I just no. I I the yesterday was the first time. Well, no, two days ago was the first time I finished a full bottle of kombucha. The other <laughs> time after yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. it was every time after that it was like taste tests. <laughs> <laughs> but coconut water, I'm a team coconut water, girl. Your all time favorite movie. My all time favorite movie, which is probably such a basic answer, but I promise it's um. Forrest Gump. Oh. Oh, that's cute. cute. Yeah. I love Forrest uh -huh. Gump. Run, Forrest, run. Favorite cocktail? My favorite cocktail is um, whiskey on the Bretman Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> or honestly, nice. if I'm feeling cute, I would say a mule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. One beauty product that you cannot live without? Um, It's not really like a, a product, product yeah. per se. Um, I would say... The best primer is my confidence. So I can't live without my confidence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> amazing. Answer. That's so can't good. Can't buy <laughs> this nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, would you rather be hot or cold? I, I honestly would rather be hot. And like both like um, superficially and <laughs> <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. Would yeah. you rather lose your hair or lose your sight? Sight, period, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, wait. But if I lose my yourself. sight, I can't even see you my hair. See. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, wig it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wig it is. There you go. Um, would you rather live in New York or live in Texas? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's usually L.A. or New York. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Um, it's New York. <laughs> I would say New York, actually. I actually genuinely enjoy being in New York because... It's interesting. Everybody, like when you step mm. out, girl, everybody the is energy like, yes, mm -hmm. and electric. Like, yeah. Electric, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, a different yeah. type of inspiring than like LA in energy. Uh -huh. you Even know? from Hawaii, like coming from Hawaii to LA and then New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Um, would you go to jail for a day or spend a week in the jungle again? <laughs> Bitch, I did both actually. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Whoa. But that's for, yeah, that's for another part. That's for part that's two. For my book. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> But since I did both, um, <laughs> which one did I have the worst time in? <laughs> I feel like I learned more lesson in the jungle. So honestly, like now I would go in the jungle more, but with my last day mentality. Yeah, yeah, with a different there you go. mindset. Yeah, yeah, like that. Um, okay, this one's from Instagram. What is your skincare routine? Um, honestly, ugh, I hate these people, but I am going to be these people right now. But like water really saves me a lot. Like I know I'm breaking out. I know I'm dr not drinking water when I break out. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I I feel like I just drench my face in so much sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. Um, one, because I get sent so much. And two, it's um, like 
I think I after like going and trying out so many fucking products that sent to me and like half of them burning my skin, half of them breaking me out. Yeah. I think I just stick to like what works and for me it's like simple like cleanser and like just shit ton of sunscreen. Mm. What sunscreen do you use? I use Everybody's um ask. image one. I use the dermalogical one i use the super goop one mm-hmm. yeah and there's also this brand that was recommended to me called black girl sunscreen which um kind of doesn't it eliminates like um the white cast mm-hmm. um which is really good if yeah, you're yeah. like really wary about like <laughs> yeah. looking like a ghost <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah those are like my faves for now right now you, you got me into my skincare. Like Megan, for the longest time, was like, "You gotta take care of your skin." All this stuff. You're I know. Old. And then you gave me like the first product, Fenty, and then I, u- I finally yeah. used it all I know. up. And like I never used what, it all what my what product. What is it? Cleanser. It was a like cleanser to a toner to a sunscreen, and oh, I never did that. You. Yes, and I, I did feel it like because more guys need to take care of their yes, skin. For yes, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Would you believe it if I say like my um my like my self care stuff or like my like just like. The fact that I like I value my self image so much comes from my dad. Oh, oh really? wow! It really don't come from my mom because my mom don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like my mom hates me. I hate, she thinks like makeup is itchy. She hates getting her hair done. She thinks it's ugly when we straighten it. Yeah, like, you yeah, know. Yeah. And she's like just so. But your very, dad like, had long hair too, right? My dad was the one that's very into like this vanity uh-huh. thing. Like he had pills oh, for days. Really? Oh, wow. Skincare, like girl, he had skincare. Uh, um, awesome. He would do like he would do like um, full on skincare, and his hair was so long and luscious, which honestly is my goal right now. Yeah. Your hair is so long now. I know, and it's only gonna get longer from here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know your question. <laughs> I forgot it already. No, so water and sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. essentials. How can we apply to be your friend? <laughs> That one came from Instagram. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have a lot right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know no, when yeah, a when, spot when it's clears up. up. <laughs> Sorry, Nai. <Nye>. Yeah. <laughs> um, your f- your most memorable project so far? Um, Besides the Playboy, I honestly lived for my Sims commercial because Ooh, yeah. the day before that, I had dislocated my shoulders from my shoot with Megan the Stallion. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, I was just high the whole day on, um, not actually high, high, but like the bitch, bitch, every break I had, they brought in like two Tylenol, an Advil, <laughs> oh. and then like, um, like ice yeah, yeah. and shit. So like every break. But then also, I think the reason why it's memorable was because there was like five trailers and then I had like five um, stunt doubles and oh, shit wow. for a 15 second commercial. Wow. That had one line, which was Bretman. <laughs> Not even a line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a word. And my say name, your line. <laughs> Bretman. Like, literally. Oh, my God. Wow. You had more lines as yes. a line. So, I would say that was probably my most memorable one, just because, one, I was a star. <laughs> Two, I was, like, really pushing through something. Mm-hmm. And three, it was, like, probably one of my favorite commercials because it came out so cool. Yeah. What is one thing that you would like people know, to know about you that you people probably don't? I think people think that I'm... Well, the way people be motherfucking DMing me sometimes, I'm like, girl, I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and I really feel like because the persona that I put on sometimes or like the persona that is Bremen Rock, yep. I come across like airheady sometimes. But people fail to realize like I'm actually a lot like smarter than I... I uh-huh. portray myself or I come off For across. For sure, you wouldn't be where you are if you exactly. weren't. Exactly. Yeah. Smart, like, smart that's what I'm things. saying. Yeah. And it'd be the most brokest bitches calling me a dumb bitch. I'm like, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> girl. If you were so smart, girl. Yeah. Where's that? Let's use your brain. <laughs> Let Who me is think. one person you would like to meet that you haven't met yet? Um, um, Dead or Alive. It can be Dead Ooh, or Alive. Yeah, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. I would say Freddie Mercury. Freddie Ooh, Mercury. Yeah. Yes, I love Freddie Mercury so much. Um, and his just soul is just, I think his soul is very similar to my soul. Um, mm. And yeah, I would just like to just like have lunch with him or something. Or like a makeup date. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We'd, get in, yeah. Yeah, we'd get in drag and <laughs> yeah. sing Don't um, Break Free. 
<laughs> or something. Sounds like a party. What, what's your favorite Filipino dish? My favorite Filipino dish, and it has to be my mom's adobo. Mm. It has to be, because it can't just be like adobo. You know what I mean? Like, because some parents' adobo be questionable <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> is, it that, is that adobo? Like, <laughs> what the fuck you put in this? <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say specifically my mom's adobo. Is that your comfort food too? Like your go-to comfort um, food? Um, for sure. I it's like beyond comfort, girl. Like it's like anxiety food. Like it's yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it's literally like, eat it whenever. <laughs> yeah, grounding food. Like it's everything. Yeah. I love adobo. Yeah. Um, who's who's the coolest person you like celebrity you've met? I would say um, Ariana was really nice Ooh. to me, um, but not just like that because she was nice to me. Obviously, yes. <laughs> but I love how she like still like remembers to like keep in touch with me Aww, like it's, awesome. it's weird like sometimes she would just reply to like a random story of me like pouring wine in my hot tub and she <laughs> you know what i mean so oh, it's it's sweet. cool to know that like you know i'm obviously i'm not thinking like ariana's mm. like sitting there on her couch like thinking about me but like it's cool to know that like she remembers me and like thinks about me yeah do you have a dream collab or client that you want to work with brand um yourself i oh, stupid <laughs> <laughs> i would love to work one day with the man that i was named after um the rock mm. Ooh, putting you were named there. after the rock yeah i was named after two do wrestlers you not know the story I do, I do i do but i was just trying to yes say, yeah. two yeah, wrestlers yep. i would also work with brett the hitman heart but i i don't think he's working anymore yeah yeah <laughs> so the rock, the yeah. Rock is, yeah the Shout rock is the pretty rock. cool let's do a movie or something oh yeah <laughs> So you have not met the rock I'm free. yet. I haven't met the rock yet, but every freaking like agency meeting, every everywhere I go, literally. Yeah, it's literally. crazy. I'm like, you guys I need are both to from Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, yeah like you have Hawaii roots. Yeah. yeah. I know. We'll make it happen. Two rocks from Hawaii, girl. <laughs> two rocks two, from the rock. Two rocks oh. from the rock. <laughs> Drinking tequila on the rocks. Yeah. Period. <laughs> of the crystals of the day, which is your favorite that you keep um, like you travel with or I would say my favorite crystal right now is a Libyan desert glass, oh. um, which is technically not a crystal. It's a tektite. It's similar to like a moldavite. It's um, kind of like a moldavite's like sister, if you may. Older sister, actually 24 million years older. Um, wow. And yeah, so it's, knowledgeable. it's yeah. actually like not a crystal because it's a tektite and it's a meteorite that hit like the Libyan desert. Oh my God. Um, but for the most part, I, oh, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's this one right here, this yellow one. And um, wow. whenever I feel it, I always feel like um, my, my, my hands, like I get like, I, I actually feel the energy from it. Like mm -hmm. even before I even meditated on it, I was like, damn, this has natural energy. But um, it's supposed to bring you closer. Like I said, it's, Similar to the powers of a Moldavite, but it is like, it gives you the confidence to um, become your true destiny instead of like a Moldavite, like pushing you down to your face to get you into your destiny. This one gives you the confidence. And I feel like every time I wear and every time I, ever since I got it, actually, like, I was always confident, but I feel like I've found like this new found like confidence in me um, from within. So... Yeah, I'm more like direct when I talk now. And yeah, I feel like my favorite ones right now is my Libyan Desert Glass. Love awesome. that. I got Taking one. you to the next level. Uh -huh. Yes. I got one. Um, I'm going to bring your bag in and we're going to do a what's in your bag right now. Cute. Okay, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a story for everything, girl. <laughs> All right. How so much can you fit in there? <laughs> last question. So, what's in your bag and why? Today we have this bag from a brand called Atomic. I love this brand because they reuse like just different things. Obviously, you could probably tell uh -huh. where this comes from, which <laughs> is a jean. I love it. Um. Anyways. So first things first, I have my film camera. I've been getting into film. I got into film like last September during Fashion Week because mm -hmm. my yeah. stylist only takes film cam film pictures, um, and I just love how it comes out. And whenever I want to remember something, I just pull it out. And something about it just reminds me of like the two thousands, obviously. Two <laughs> thousands, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, and Cute. I just love like going to like a film shop and like dropping off my film, uh -huh. <laughs> and you're like, like waiting for it too, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah. I feel like I don't know. Wait, do but do you post your work? Yes, somewhere? I have. <laughs> I have a 
have a fucking page for everything. <laughs> I have a page for my plants, and I have a page for my film, and it's called the Baddest Film. And I just, I, I just, I just use it as a dump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I don't want it sitting in my um my role and mm-hmm. like just yeah. like you want to share it somewhere. There. I want yeah. the world to see what I yeah. saw. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I have that. <laughs> um, I have two glasses. I have like, um, you know, sunglasses. Yeah. Cute. And these are <laughs> Chanel because I'm wearing Chanel all day. And then these ones are just like clear ones from your Emperor Armani. Cute. This is yeah. really just like when I'm. <laughs> and like now I don't, when you see, when you post yeah. something with those glasses like oh like oh. if i'm high but i'm <laughs> yeah. somewhere like indoor you know because i hate like i hate being like that bitch like wearing in a sunglasses. store wearing yeah. sunglasses like you know because i judge them so <laughs> if i judge them i can't be a hypocrite yeah, yeah so yeah, then yeah. when i when i walk in i'm like okay yeah still not gonna see my eyes <laughs> Because then it looks like just yeah, yeah, transition. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. these are just my transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's not I sunglasses. Really sensitive eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> um, obviously, without even saying it, my phone is in my bag as well. <laughs> my wallet that I got from um, Mitzi's husband. Mitzi is the girl that um, signed me with Nike for the very first time. Wow. She said that she used to see me run... Um, track in high school and she's from hawaii too oh i know her oh yeah, mitzi you shot her wedding oh my god oh, wow. what? What? so sweet i love mitzi yeah. and the husband does like um leather crafts and um <laughs> he made me this snakeskin <laughs> wallet which i have never changed since i got it so this is as old oh, as my out. first nike campaign that's crazy yeah <laughs> awesome. still mitzi. there yeah um then i have you know my humble little slip um hair tie <laughs> My car keys and whatnot. <laughs> I have a lip balm because, bitch, glossy. you know me. I be talking too much. <laughs> lips are bound to be dry. This is also my humble bag today. So, like, you know, trust. <laughs> I carry more than this shit. <laughs> and this is what I carry with me all the time. This is my crystal. Ooh. What um, you want to see? These are my carry-on crystal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Okay, wait. These um, jades... I just keep in there because it fell out of like my um i used to wear it in my anklet but um it came out for some reason so i'm gonna find a new anklet for that but these are my favorite ones so if you want to listen listen so i have carnelian clear quartz not to be confused with the urkummer diamond we have a libyan desert glass which i talked about the motivite which is the younger sister this is also a tektite a meteorite another meteorite i love i oh, love like meteorite. collecting like meteorite because this is off our planet yes out of planet and yeah. i feel like it helps you connect with like your higher being and mm-hmm. i feel like i get a lot of my advice from like my higher self mm-hmm. pyrite is really just because i snore a lot and so um, <laughs> i honestly i'm a snorer um put this in my pillow um this amethyst malachite which i used that to meditate beautiful. a lot um you could tell she's like been used <laughs> she's um loved. a lapis lazuli which brings you closer to your like royalty self Ooh. wow um this is an opalite like a raw one like i don't know oh, if you guys have pretty. ever pretty. seen like a raw opal look at that that is beautiful <laughs> opal's my birthday and then these three are just um ones that resonate with me this is a ronda right which kind of had the same properties as like a rose quartz mm-hmm. this is a k2 stone um i still have to do more research on that and then this is a super seven which comprom which is compromised of like seven different types of like crystals uh so yeah these are like my travel crystals and i don't know how they all fit in here but that's awesome and it all has like a different like meaning and a meaning. different power yeah yeah and i collect them like throughout like girl i can't believe like this meteorite like it looks really from out of space like yeah that's it does. crazy it looks like um like i feel like i always call it like optimi- optimus prime's teeth <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah 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 you know that's belong. crazy but yeah those are what's in my bag thank you for sharing with us and thank you for being with us and again everything is at bremen rock uncut underscore hawaii mm-hmm. okay. follow us on youtube and social media and stay tuned thank you thank you, thank you aloha bremen.